How's it going everyone? My name is Nate Vader and today we're going to be having a look at this purchase I made on Amazon. What do they say? Good things come in small packages. They certainly do. So this is the Jeep Gladiator from Jurassic World Dominion, uh, a vehicle that didn't seem to get much love in the film, um, considering how much effort they put into detailing these vehicles for the film. You only saw them a couple of times, and uh, I feel like they need more love. Uh, we did get the RC version, uh, which was pretty cool. Um, and nice to see a die-cast version. Probably would be nicer to get a bigger version, like a 1/18th maybe. Yeah, this is quite a nice little vehicle opening doors. Only the front two. I quite like that. Very aggressive looking front end. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty sweet. For a small vehicle, it's packing a lot of detail. And I think it was only £12 on Amazon. I had to get it through Amazon France though. So this isn't actually currently on Amazon UK, uh, which is a bit annoying, but it only took a couple of days to get here from France, so pretty impressed with the delivery speed. That's what stood out to me when I saw this, I was like, this has been really kitted out, like they put some effort into the details on this vehicle. And it's just there in the background, or it's just flipped over on its back, it's just, it just doesn't get the love that it needs. Looks like they did... Uh, think about doing a pull back and go feature on there because that's where the motor would go but not on this one so maybe a future release perhaps who knows let's check out the inside see if there's anything on the uh, dashboard a little bit of detail in there nothing crazy some really stiff it is rubber but it's incredibly stiff Abavata es gibt noch mehr. Or, um, wait, there's more. That's really bad German I just did. Um, I got another package, this one from Germany. So let's crack it open and uh, see what's just come from Deutschland. Ooh, baby. Oh, yeah. Check it out. That packaging just is striking every time. Really liking this uh, JP30 stuff at the minute. So yeah, if you um, had uh, already gathered, I got this from Amazon Germany. Uh, I think it's also on Amazon France now. I'm not sure why, but it's really taking its time to come to Amazon UK. Um, but that's where I got it from. And I think this was like £12. Oh, check out that back art as well. They're really going to town on this. They're using it on all this JP30 stuff. Love it. Let's get it out of the box and then uh, we'll look at the details. Alrighty, once that thing's out of the box, this is what you're left with. And uh, yeah, I've got to say, yeah, it's a really nice little mini Ford Explorer. Uh, we'll look at the details. There is no paint apps on the back end, which is quite poor, if I'm quite honest. Um, it looks very naked without that. Uh, you've got uh, no license plate sticker. Um... Hmm, it's a bit of a bummer. Uh, rubber tyres, yeah, pretty much like the Gladiator. And there is the little spotlight there. There's no lens in any of these. Same with on the front end, there's nothing there. But you have got lenses in the front headlights. Nothing on the track sensors, just uh, moulded plastic. Uh, you have got some nice details on the uh, bull bar or brush guard. I'm not sure what you call it in America. Uh, you've got the little um, antenna, which is quite stubby for some reason. Uh, only the front doors open. Yeah, just the front doors. And there is a nice bit of detail in there. 
can zoom in. That is the old Ford uh, Explorer steering wheel. Uh, no cover over it, but uh, you can see the interactive CD-ROM just about. It's a bit hard to focus in on that. Uh, but it's all in black on the inside, so it all sort of blends in. And some details on the door panels as well. Looking on the roof, uh, you've got the clear window. Uh, you've got three spotlights on the top, but there are no lenses in that or any paint apps. Um, the hood decal is awful. Uh, real basic looking, don't like that at all, especially with the little trademark on the corner. It's pretty poor. And same goes for the decal on the side. It's not really a decal, it's like printed on. Um, yeah, a bit of bit of lackluster really going on there. Uh, on the bottom, minimal detail. Again, it looks like it had a spot for a pull back and go feature, but they haven't gone down that road. And there's a molding there of a spare wheel, which is kind of cool. I mean, they didn't have to do it, but they did, which is nice. And just for a size comparison, I've got a 132 scale human figure here. And uh, it's not far off, but I think the Ford Explorer is actually a little bit smaller than what it uh, is meant to be, which is 132 scale. So, yeah, it's a bit of a bummer. Um, just for another size comparison, here's a bootleg Roland Tembo from The Lost World. Remember that classic Roland Tembo line? I'm here to hunt a T-Rex buck only. Also, I've got a mullet. Gladiator, very nice, lovely detail. Ford Explorer, okay. I think it needs some tweaks here and there. Um, maybe some paint apps might cheer it up a bit, but a bit disappointing, I say, with the missing paint there. And other places as well, I've noticed, but overall for the price, I guess it's not too bad. But uh, if they could make it look that good on the Gladiator, why can't they do it with that? That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, tell me what you think of that. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. My name is Nathan Vader. I post on Instagram and Twitter almost daily. And of course, it's always Jurassic related. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Yes. Yes. Brrr.